welcome back. We left it last time with needing to bake our textures into our scene so that it looks better in the free version of Unity. So let's go do that. We're going to Layout and um, we need to use a different kind of camera. And The camera we're going to use is the Surface Baking Camera as we can see here. And if we go into the properties for the camera we can see that it asks for a mesh and a UV map. So for the meshes that we've got here, we've got ball and the UV map of ball. If you're not sure how to create a UV map, the process is very simple. All we need to do is go into Modeler, and as you can see, here's the ball UV map that's already been created. But let's create a new one just as a test. So we'll say New, say Texture, Atlas, and we'll create. And there you go, it's made exactly the same as that ball one. We don't need this extra one so I'll just delete it. Now we'll go back into layout and we can see that we will create an, uh, an image based on this and this is the width and height we're going to work it to. I don't need quite such high resolution but remember that UV maps are square Okay, you can see here it's a square, which means that your image resolution needs to be square as well. And it should always be in values, factors of 2. So we go 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, 8192, etc, etc. So set your width and height settings to the value you want. 1024 is a good middle of the road uh, amount. If you need to pay more close attention to your object you might want to go higher uh, or if the object is very detailed you might want to go higher. We'll try it as it is. We'll hit F9 and you can see it's not taking a very long time to render this image. And there it is. We can see the reflections, the reflection of the box, the walls, the sky, the other two walls, and the floor. So now all we need to do is save our image. And I've already saved a few here, so we can just cancel that. And then once you've baked all of the objects in your scene, we need to make sure that our objects themselves use those textures. So to do that we're going to ball, hit the T for image map we'll change the uh, projection to UV, UV map to ball and image to ball again. And we'll hit use. Box we'll do the same again. UV box load image box. Okay, and room, and this is the one that's going to make the big difference. At the moment there's a gradient on it, so we'll just turn off that gradient, so we've just got a, a fixed colour, and we'll add a layer, image map, and we'll do the same again. UV, UV map, load image. And I've got two different versions of the image here. Um, this one's at 1024 and this one's at 2048, as we can see, um, in order to give better definition. Let's try the big version. We do use texture. And we can see that even in OpenGL view mode, we actually have more colour and life in our scene. We've got the shadows of our objects on the walls, and if we have a look at our pool, we can see that there are reflections in there. Okay, so we've got to remember that surfacing is an object related thing, so you have to save your objects as well as saving your scene. So what we'll do is we'll do a save all process. Save all objects. We'll go back to Unity, 
which will load in uh, our texture baked textures and um, we should be able to turn off the light just so that there's only ambient light in the scene if we hit play we can look it's a bit somber so maybe we could leave the light on but we can see the reflections in the ball let's come out of there just one last thing just a little um, make it look a bit nicer we'll go into the main camera here and we can see that the clear flags go to skybox but there's no skybox involved so let's add a new asset import package skyboxes and we want them all try again And then for our camera, we need to component, rendering, add a skybox, which is now here. And we can click on the little selector to choose our skybox. And let's go for Sunny 2. And now, as you can see, when we go into our scene, we now have clouds over our, over our scene which are adding a little bit of light so there you go that's your quick look at um, Unity and Lightwave hope it's been of help and uh, I look forward to seeing what you make with Unity uh, on the forums uh, because you can build your Unity scene now and build it as a web player so that people can just look at your work on the internet uh, or you can build standalone exes so that people can just double click on the file and load it up and they can have a look at what you've done okay good luck with that take care bye